Welcome to another video a Walk on the Wild Side and in this video I'm going to be taking you down Waterloo Road yes Waterloo Road South Shore in Blackpool the main shopping area I'm going to start from where the bridge is where the railway bridge is Blackpool South platform and just talk a little bit about that and I'm going to be talking about the uh, the problems that it's got Waterloo Road as well because it's got quite a few problems like I say and if you watch my Bond Street video uh, a few videos back you'll know the kind of problems I'm talking about um, it's, it's an area that's in better days but the council have over the years they have spent quite a lot of money on it trying to regenerate the area and you'll see some of that when we go there all the road has been relayed out pedestrianized all that sort of thing but it still doesn't seem to get going at all but anyway um, just heading towards the Blackpool South now and uh, that's where we're going to start this tour of Waterloo Road. Blackpool South and I remember when there used to be a proper railway station here and what I most remember about it was the fact that it had a model railway inside and that was really really good I was absolutely fascinated by the model railway at uh, Blackpool South station that's going back quite a way so we're just heading on to heading up the ramp now onto Waterloo Road where we can start this tour. So this little building here with two units there used to be toilets in the old days and there was a homeless pair of sisters that used to live in this as well. I remember when I was at school they used to live in one of the toilets. They lived there for probably the best part of a year I think. They were quite well known. Over the road is the old Palladium Bingo building, not a bingo anymore of course, a lot of the independent bingo halls are nearly all shut down now. This place has been here quite a while, Ford sale rooms and auctions still going. So we're now at the junction with Lytham Road, see the Royal Oak over there. Uh, this is the new roundabout layout which was put in going back a fair while now part of the redevelopment of this area a uh, bit of a shame about these beds here they look a mess i think these garden beds look, look a mess really it's a shame they aren't looked after better but anyway facing waterloo road now and you can see over there opposite you know, william hill they've been there ever since i can remember so that hasn't changed one little bit the william hill is still there on the corner show you these uh, these sets here which were put down as part of the pedestrianisation uh, a little bit rough in some areas I have to say so 
that rug shop there is actually really, really good. Yeah, I got myself a really nice rug from there, not too long ago. Very, very reasonable and very high quality too. So we're now opposite the new market, a place that we used to go in, well, every weekend I'd say, in the olden days. Loads and loads of stalls in there. Last time I went in, uh, last year, there was hardly any stalls in there. It was really, really empty. And next door is what we used to call the old market. Fairly similar place, just, you know, market stalls. I haven't been in there for a while, so I'm not really sure what that's like. So I'm now opposite the old post office building here on Waterloo Road. Um, it's the main post office. Um, closed down, oh, decades ago. I'm not really sure what it's been used for now, but I think there's a gym on the first floor, I think. There's a sign over there saying gym. Uh, apart from that, I'm not really sure what it's been used for, really. Um, but this is the sort of thing that... Um, we had the same problem in town, because we had the main post office in town and sorting office on Abingdon Street, which has been empty for a long time, but that has plans to be converted into a, a bar, restaurant and hotel, possibly. But this one, I'm not so sure. And now we have the famous Nocriani's ice cream. So if you're coming to Blackpool and you want an ice cream, you have to go to Nocriani's. You just have to go. Believe me. And now we've reached the end of Waterloo Road and as you can see it's quite a bit lively here on the promenade. Quite a few visitors here tonight. Saturday night, 1st of August. And here's the Dutton Arms. That's been here ever since I can re remember as well. So there you go, that's my little tour of Waterloo Road. I hope you liked it, and if you do, um, hit the like button and press subscribe. And also tick the bell for notifications of more videos like this one. And I will see you on the next video.